In this video, I'm going to be going over power clipping. Power clipping is very useful for putting designs within another design. So uh, for example, let's go ahead and get a square right here. And let's say I have a circle just like this. Let's give it some color. Same thing with this back circle or back square. Um, and here is my circle. Here's my square. Let's click the circle, right click power clip inside and I click the square and now my circle is within the square I can edit the circle by right clicking edit power clip or you can go up here whichever is easier I always just edit the power clip and it brings you within the square now if anything I create is within this square now if I put it outside of this blue box like if I create something like this you're not gonna see it you know so I need to edit it and make sure it's somewhere within the square like this and then finish and then you could see um, another way to edit is very useful is just holding alt and then clicking now i'm automatically within the power clip without going into the power clip okay and i can edit but if i click off somewhere like this i can't just click again i have to hold alt click and now i can drag this around um, this isn't the the most uh, efficient but it is extremely useful and convenient it's not super efficient because if you have a billion objects and designs on here sometimes you may not click the item inside the power clip and you might click something under um, the object so just be sure you're actually selecting the right object i can also right click and unlock the contents to the power clip okay so right now it's locked you see the check mark right there so that means if i move this square all the items are going to go with it however if i unlock it let's unlock you can see that it's not locked now the the check mark's not there now if i move this square you can see it's literally moving uh, just the square all the items are can are in Side the square still it's just not the items aren't moving with the square And so that's very useful if you're setting up like bleeds for um, Business cards or something like that. You can power clip everything within the business card unlock it then zoom out for the bleed like this and Then lock it back just in case you move the business card anywhere um, so that's pretty much everything for power clips. Simplifying doesn't really mess anything up for the power clip. So we have that circle. Let's simplify. Um, everything's still there. Let's unlock. Let's change some of the nodes just like that. So, um, pretty, pretty useful, pretty useful design. You can do the same thing with text. Sometimes text is a little weird and it won't work. So, but let's go ahead and try it. Let's make it bold so you could actually see things you put in there we have circles like this let's change them to blue like that right click power clip inside and click the text and now it is all inside the text and then you could go ahead and change it to whatever you like and boom it's still in there if the power clip doesn't work you may have objects grouped together or you may have a drop shadow on an object or a contour or something like that just make sure you have the object selected alone so that you can power clip it um, also it may not work if you're not selecting uh, the object itself you may be selecting the background and you're not meaning to do that and so just make sure you're selecting the right object to power clip items too uh, next you can extract all the contents at once by clicking extract like that it's going to give you this line within the object uh, this X so anything you drag on top of the power clip it's gonna be like yo put me inside you <laughs> <laughs> to get rid of this line if I right click and go to frame type remove frame and now it's not susceptible to power clips or it doesn't have that stupid line going down the going down the center of it that's pretty much everything for power clipping